The history of Kazakh native land is rich. Ancient cities, great men, events and archaic architectural monuments provide evidence for this. Comprehensive history of Kazakh steppe is an object of interest for native land program. Today in the program, sunny terrace with rich history, one of the miracles of Jambu, mausoleum of Karahan, Caravan Sarai, where the caravans are stopped from all over the world. Bright people living for the people. Taras is the most ancient city among medieval cities of Kazakhstan. It is a historical city stretching along the Talas River. The first fragmentary information about the city of Taras was given in 568 by the Byzantine ambassador Zimar. In several decades, that is in 630, the Chinese traveler Xu Anzang told about the city. He called Taras an important trade center along the Great Silk Road. In the 10th century, the Arab geographer Al-Maxi wrote, Taras is a big city with fortifications, gardens, a large population surrounded on all sides by forests with four gates and a rabat. A river flows opposite the Medina Gate. Behind it is one part of the city to which the road leads and the mosque, which stands right in the center of the bazaar, is visible from everywhere. The economic and cultural development of Taras in the 9th 10th centuries was influenced by the rich zone areas in the channel of the Talas River and the development of silver deposits near the Talas Alatel. Taras was the center of the Turgesh Kaganate, the Karaluk state and the Karahanids. The remains of building structures, stone pavements and sidewalks found in the result of archaeological excavations conducted in the medieval city, which are evidence of highly developed architectural art, as well as various products made by artisans, indicate that the city flourished in the 10th-12th centuries. The city had a caravan sarais, large public buildings, workshops of artisans, merchants' shops, and small shops that met the needs of many city residents. In 1856, the city was called Aulie Atta. In 1936, the city was named Mirzoyan. In 1938, it was renamed Jambil, in honor of the great poet Jambil Jabayev. And on January the 8th, 1997, by the decree of the President of the Republic of Kazakhstan, the city was given its ancient name, Taras. Taras is the cradle of the civilization of Central Asia. The mausoleum of Karahan is a heritage left behind of this civilization. The mausoleum is located in the center of the city of Taras and is part of the religious memorial complex on the territory of the medieval Rabat. This medieval architectural monument was built in honor of Shah Mahmud Karahan, one of the prominent figures of the Karahani dynasty. History has not preserved the name of the master who built the mausoleum. Built from 30 types of bricks, the mausoleum of Karahan is included in the list of seven wonders of Jambul and refers to the period of the Ogis Kipchaks. There are four additional rooms in the mausoleum. The total size of the mausoleum is 16 to 16 and the height is 11 meters. The walls of the mausoleum are composed in a very simple way. In the Hudra room, there is a staircase leading to the roof of the mausoleum through the fourth door. In that place, the first bricks, three bricks of the mausoleum of Karahan are preserved. In 1988, the mausoleum was taken under the protection of the state by the decision of the Republican Council. The first researcher of the mausoleum was the Russian scientist, art critic Boris Denike. In general, during the reign of the Karahani dynasty, Taras blossomed and expanded. The roads on the streets assumed a form appropriate to the urban style. Another architectural monument of the ancient city is the mausoleum of Tektormas. It is located on the right bank of the Talas River in the southeastern part of the city. The architect and builders of the mausoleum built in the form of rectangle with a dome and laid out of burnt bricks are unknown. On the walls of the mausoleum, there are traces of plaster. The well-known archaeologist Galina Pugachenkova dates the mausoleum to the 14th century. 
Dr. Moss is translated as do not stand without a reason in the Russian language. It is believed that Sultan Mahmud Khan was buried in the mausoleum. According to one version of the legend, which is coming among the people, Tektor Mas was the commander-in-chief of the Karahanid army. He contributed to the spread and development of Islam. In 1935, the mausoleum was destroyed. In 2002, the young architect Nurlebek Bakayev recreated the mausoleum with the help of the preserved old images for the 2000th anniversary of the city of Taras. The Great Silk Road, which began functioning in the 2nd 1st centuries BC, contributed to the development of the economy of many states. It is known that the caravan way originating in China through Tibet, Kashgar, Jetusu, reached the city of Taras and was divided into two branches. One branch went to Iran through Tashkent, Samarkand, and Hiva, and the second branch through Turkestan, Otorar, Horezm, reached the Volga, the Caucasus, and further the Mediterranean Sea, one of the cities through which the great road run was Taras. Also, a lot of caravanserais were built along the roads connecting the cities. One of it is the caravanserai Tortku. The main function was to service caravans arriving from the north of the city of Taras, meeting caravans, ensuring their safety, and giving the possibility of using trade routes. According to historians, the Sarai of Tortku nomads belongs to the period of the 11th-13th centuries. In general, the name Tortku in Turkic means four corners of the world. We are in a room designed to serve the caravan sarai. This room is one of the largest and most spacious rooms. The size of the room is 5 to 6 meters. Along the walls around, there is a sofa. In other words, these are the sofas, which were used for guests. The main purpose of this room is to hold councils, discuss trade, or jointly solve other problems. The interior of the caravan sarai corresponds to ancient harsh times. Inside the palace, surrounded by high walls, there are small rooms, hearth and ceramic dishes. The total area of the complex is quite large. The height of the fence is 5 meters. The width of the walls is about 5 meters. Around the fortification, there are four towers. In the south and north, there are 8-meter gates. In general, four rooms, located on both sides of the gate, were the workshops of applied arts. We have now come to the storerooms of the Tortku Caravan Sarai. These are warehouses which were used by caravans at a stop on rest. Of course, if the cargo transport of caravans rested in the central square, the arrived goods were stored in special warehouses. Now, if you look from beginning to end, then you will understand. It was all used for the warehouse. It is worth noting that we are now holding hands part of the walls of the Tortkul Caravan Sarai. The ancient wall is now preserved at an altitude of about one meter. Taras, rich in traditions and history, is also the birthplace of personalities, stories of heroism, which are passed on from generation to generation. One of such people was the hero of the December events of 1986, Kairat Nogai Bayuli Riskolbekov. Kairat Riskolbekov was born in 1966 in the village of Birlik, Moinkum district. By the decision of the chairman of the Board of Criminal Cases of the Supreme Court of the Kazakh SSR of June 16, 1986, Kairat Riskulbekov, as a participant in the December events, was sentenced to the death penalty execution. However, representatives of the intellectuals wrote a letter of petition to the chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR, and the capital punishment was replaced by the imprisonment for 20 years. But for known reasons, Riskulbekov was taken to the Semipalatinsk prison through the railway stations of Chu and Karaganda, where under mysterious circumstances an attempt was made on his life. 
Mikhail Rutris-Kulbekov, who became the main victim of the December events after our country gained independence, was fully rehabilitated by the decision of the plenum of the Supreme Court of Kazakhstan on February 21, 1992. He was posthumously awarded the title Halik Kaharmani. In the city of Taras, there is a park named after Riskulbekov. Also in the park, there is a monument dedicated to Kairat Riskulbekov. Our coach ordered a general form, and at competitions we went out in this form. Behind them was the inscription Kordai. Let's work more with your left hand. Well done. In the beginning, when the box class was opened, more than 100 children came to the first training session. In a week their number decreased. Two weeks later, the sparrings began. During this period, the number of children decreased again, and out of 100, there were left only 20 boxers. Well, boxing is a very complex sport. Only one can become the champion out of 100. Marat Mazimbaev, who succeeded among those 100, has conquered many heights of professional boxing. He is a world-class sports master, four-time winner of the championship of Kazakhstan, world champion among professionals, according to the version of IBA. Born in the tiny village of Kordai, Marat Mazimbaev is the pride of the people. He glorified Kazakhstan through throughout the world. Despite the fact that he is a famous master of sports, Marat is still a modest, a simple person. You get worn and torn in the place you were born. Marat Mazimbaev very often pays a visit to his native village. He comes to the training hall, which was the beginning of his victories, where his childhood passed. <laughs> We grew up in the village. We miss the village. We bring our children to the village. When I was a child, my brothers went to grazing. So I bring my children to see the village too. One of the figures who is deeply worried about his people is the entrepreneur Sairambai Doninbaev. He is the owner of the prosperous farm where life is boiling, horses are galloping and waving their manes and tails in the wind, mares are gently grazing, foals are playing, lambs and goats are bellowing. The businessman crossed the horse of the Kazakh breed and the Russian heavyweight pedigree horse. Both milk and meat of crossbreed are of the highest quality. The entrepreneur is sure that in a few years he will be able to bring out a new breed of Kazakhstan. The crossbreed of strong build, deduced in the farm, can live in any climatic conditions and can eat every grass and beta. Its height is approximately 145 centimeters and the body length is 150 centimeters. Weight is approximately 460, 470 kilograms. This breed of horses, although it does not come first at the races, has already established itself as a good horse for the Kokpar. In addition, it can easily pass 70, 80 kilometers per day. Sairam Bai Doninbaev, who has done such a great job, also provides work for the people of his village. Now there are no good breeders as in the past. When we graze cattle ourselves, we lived in yurts. Now there is no such thing. Now everyone has a standard house, a sauna, electricity. We have all conditions. You saw the boarding school yourself. Children study in such boarding schools. Now we are building a kindergarten. I build it because the spouses of my colleagues, my employees, machine operators are staying in the village without a job. I wish that they will work too, because they too must enjoy the results of our labors. I plan to fulfill it, and I will involve their families in work. If you serve the people, you will leave a good deed. This is the advice of Donin Baev's father, and it is the basis of his upbringing. A kind and generous entrepreneur organized the construction of 40 houses for his employees built a boarding school in the district center where children can study and leave, plant trees, open a park, build a mosque. I personally believe that the civic duty of any person to promote the prosperity of his native village, if everyone will, like me, use the gifts of the God, do not waste money on useless things. I say this because it is said, it is better to inherit from the father a tree 
and not a cattle. And it will be good if this is a legacy. The constructed buildings will be used for the good of the people. The person is not immortal. We must work for the sake of future generations. I always adhere to this principle. Wise man and poet Shakarim Kudaiber again said, the duty of a person is to serve the people. In this respect, the activities of such citizens as Sairam Bai Donin Baev, who have done many good deeds for the people, is a vivid example for others. And the sunny city of Taras is a proof of the rich culture of the Kazakh people, a civilization with a thousand-year history.